hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'll be teaching you how to make this beautiful knapsack if this is something you're interested in keep watching so welcome back this is the material we'll be using this is a black chinos material it is very thick just as thick as a jean material so this material i got it from the market and i really love the material because it was very very thick So this is the rope i'll be using i got this rope for 15 era per yard so let's measure the tote bag so now i'll be measuring 17 inches 17 and a half inches rather 17 and a half inches that's the length i'll also measure 17 and a half inches over there so i will roll I'm rolling it out to get a straight line. So now I'll measure 13 inches. So 13 inches, which is the width of the knapsack. Then I'll roll it out. So now this is the measurement of the knapsack. Then I will cut along the lines I drew. So after cutting, I'll place it on another part of the material to cut out another knapsack since I'm not making one. So to make the work easier, I'll just be placing it then, I'll be cutting it like that. So this is me after cutting the old knapsack. So these are the tiny material I cut out. I'll be using it to make a tiny rope, which I'll be putting by the side of the knapsack. That is where the rope will pass through. So now let's sew. So this is the material. I'll measure three and a half inches. I'll measure three and a half inches by that side so it's from that point i'll start sewing so before i sew this is the tiny rope i sew i think it's like around two and a half inches so the tiny rope i'll fold it into two then i'll pass it through the end of that knapsack over there then i will sew I will sew several times just to secure it to make sure it is sewn tightly then i'll do the same for the other side to so measure three and a half inches from that point you start sewing with half inch so before you get to the bottom of the knapsack you insert your tiny rope so now after that i'll be i'll be sewing this part here that i'm showing you so I'll just fold it. I'll fold it again inside, then I will sew. So I'll just sew like that. So you have to be careful while sewing this so you don't make any mistake or you don't sew on top of the other side of the fabric so this is it after sewing this is what it looks like so you do the same too for the other side you do the same for the other side So after that, this is what we have. So after that, you fold half inch, then you fold one inch or one quarter, like the way I'm doing in this video, then you sew. Please, if you don't understand, you can just watch this part over again then you just sew so. 
so this is what we have after sewing so the other side so you do the same just like that then you sew So this is what we have after sewing as you can see it is neatly sewn over there but i just have to weave the side i have to weave, weave both sides so it will make the way knapsack very neat so after weaving it this is the rope we'll be using so the rope length i fold the rope into two as you can see so the length after folding this is 60 inches so that means if if i measure it just as a single rope that will be 120 inches so that 120 inches you divide it into two that will be 60 60 60 60 inches so then you pass a pin a safety pin through the rope like the way i'm doing in the video you pass the safety pin through it then you this side we saw in the other time you pass the rope through it like that after you are done with this side you also pass it through the other side there so this is what we have so after that this tiny hole we made over here you pass the rope through it then you make sure it is not tangled then you then you make a knot Then you just make a knot just like that. Make sure it is tight so it won't lose. So this is this side. So now you take the other rope. You pass your safety pin through it again. Just like that. Then you go to the other side. This other side. Not the other side. Or this one. This side here. Then you pass the rope through it. The way you did for that one the first side so after getting to that part too you also put it through the other side of the knapsack so this is what we have then you pass it through the small loop we created then you also make a knot Make sure the knot it is make sure you the knot is tightly secured so now after making the knot and fixing the rope this is what we have as you can see is the drawstring bag also known as a knapsack so this is what we have then you can just secure those parts with a fire just to tighten it so this is all the knapsack I made. This is it again. So now, I also made tote bag. If you haven't seen the video, just check through my channel. That was the last video I dropped. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, engage on this video. It really goes a long way. Please, please and please, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe.